I love the season of Lent. It's just a beautiful time of year where we get to reflect on our lives and enter the season of, of repentance, um, fasting, uh, thinking about the poor and the disadvantaged. About a few years ago, a group of like three of us started this uh, group, group called Exodus 90, where we, um, together as a group, we entered into these scripture readings and 90 days of asceticism, which kind of led overlapped with Lent a bit. One of the things we just loved about that is the way we encourage each other to reflect on where we were, where Christ wanted to bring us. And it's just this beautiful community of people. And this year we got now 12 guys in this group, which has just been wonderful to see how the Lord is working in us. One of the f things I think about as far as during the season of Lent is the importance of the sacrament of reconciliation. And it's this beautiful gift that the church has where we can go, we can go, come to Christ, we can like, bring our, our addictions, our sins, our brokenness to Him. And uh, one of my favorite phrases comes from St. Augustine. He talks about sin like the human person that's curved inward on himself, as opposed to the person who is turned outward towards others, turned outward towards God. Sin has this sort of like gravity pull on my life, I, I know, and I, it seems to be a similar experience with other people I talk to, how this, this downward pull and what Christ wants to do with us is to renew our lives, is to bring us out of that pull of the gravity of sin. And so this Lenten season is just a beautiful time for us to, to really enter into what Christ wants to make of us. So we're going to play a couple hymns for you today. The first one is a traditional hymn called Hell from a Foundation. And the exact origins are a bit unknown, but it was found in a collection of hymns uh, by this man, an Englishman named John Rippon about 240 years ago. It's a beautiful hymn. It's actually based on a verse in Isaiah 43, and I'll just kind of read this really quick. And the title is, is The Restoration and Protection Promised. But now thus says the Lord, He who created you, O Jacob, He who formed you, O Israel, do not fear, for I have redeemed you. I have called you by name, and you are mine. And I just love that. There's so much in this short passage about God's heart for us. This phrase, do not fear, is actually found about 350 times in the whole Bible. Then that phrase, do not fear, is always followed up with something else. Do not fear because I have done this or I have, you know, I've made you mine. Um, and it's interesting how God has to tell us, do not fear. I think fear more than doubt is often our barrier to coming to God more than anything else. And this second part, I love it, is I have called you by name, you are mine. And he, he knows our names and he wants us to, um, to come to him, to hear our names being called by the Lord. So we're gonna play this for you today and, and hope this, this speaks to you. Straight. 
So this next hymn we're going to do is a favorite hymn of mine called Of the Father's Love Begotten. It's often used in many of our Catholic liturgies. It was written by a 4th century Christian poet, and the melody itself dates to about the 10th century. So when I th think of the Father's love, especially during the time of Lent, and especially with the Sacrament of Reconciliation, I I'm reminded of my probably my all-time favorite Bible passage, which is the parable of the lost son. Some people might know it as the parable of the prodigal son. And you probably know the story, but the short of it is, the son wants to have his father's inheritance, so he takes his father's money, spends it on wild living and extravagant lifestyle, and then, and then he finally comes to his senses and comes back to his father. But I wanted to read a little bit of that because it just really speaks to me. And this is from Luke chapter 15, verses 17 through 20. But when he came to himself, he said, how many of my father's hired hands have bread enough to spare? But here I am dying of hunger. I will get up and go to my father and I will say to him, Father, I have sinned against heaven and before you. I'm no longer worthy to be called your son. Treat me like one of your hired hands. So he sent off and went to his father. But while he was still far off, his father saw him and was filled with compassion. And he ran to him and put his arms around him. And I just really love that image. And one thing that really struck me at the end and this reminds me a little bit of my own story of how I first received Christ in my life uh, over 35 years ago. And this idea that his son was still far off, and yet his father runs to him. His father didn't wait for him to get his act together or cleaning himself up. He just saw him. Just that simple act of turning away from what he was doing before, just turning his face towards his father was enough for his father to run to him and what a beautiful image we have a god who who is ready to embrace us he's ready to just run to us when we come to him and just turn towards his face and so i hope this hymn uh, speaks to you as well
Are you searching for fulfillment? Discover true happiness. Stay tuned to Shalom World.